It had been a lousy week for Ipswich, twice beaten at home, first by arch rivals Norwich in the Monday Night Football, and then humiliatingly going down 3-0 to Bolton in the Coca-Cola Cup. With the introduction of £900,000 striker Adrian Paz brought some pizzazz to the team. But it was their other debutant, the Dutchman Klaus Thompson, who set up the first goal. The quarter of a million pound signing from Aarhus, crossing for Paul Mason to score. The former Aberdeen player beating standing keeper Gary Walsh. Peter Schmeichel sidelined with a thigh injury. If the champions were rocked by that, they were further shocked when Mason made it two, with a cracking finish just before half-time. And the shock of the day was well and truly on the cards. Mason had been dropped last week, but the decision to recall him was a good one. He just takes aim and fires. It took United until midway through the second half before they clawed their way back into the game, with two goals inside three minutes. A patient build-up ends with Eric Cantona getting the first from Roy Keane's driven cross. And the Frenchman isn't going to miss from there. The lack of celebration is showing just how serious the Red Devils' plight was. Cantona simply keen to get on with it. A flood of United shirts pouring into the Ipswich box and the dam bursting. Alex Ferguson made seven changes from the side he controversially selected in the League Cup winner Paul Vale. Most of the big guns returned. But it was teenager Paul Scholes who scored both the goals at Vale Park who brought them level. Keane again supplying the final ball. Again, it came from down that right flank. And again, United had men forward in numbers. But just as it looked as if Keane's contribution was going to help save United, he helped Ipswich to all three points. The home side proving they're made of sterner stuff than their four previous consecutive defeats would have you believe. Nine minutes from time, Steve Sedgley launched a volley that deflected off Keane for the winner. It's hardly the sort of result that United would have wanted as they go to Galatasaray, their European Cup graveyard of last season, in this season's Champions League on Wednesday. Ipswich 3, Manchester United 2.